Hi, Hiram here. I've got a question given to me by Detrop or Detrop, E H M B. Not sure how you say that. I apologize if I goofed it up. But Detrop asks, do tea lights generate enough heat, and/or how many tea lights can boil water? For those of you that may not be familiar with them, these are this is a tea light candle. It goes into a lot of different applications. For some reason, I've had this question given to me a lot lately, so I thought today I'd try seeing what we could find out about it. In the past, uh, I've done a couple of videos using tea light candles with the wet fire stove. Uh, I've had to reload them because a lot of them were marked video blocked in some countries because the music police didn't like my use of music at the time. So I've edited them and I've reloaded them so you'll be able to see them. I'll leave a link to three of them down below. In uh, the first video with the wet fire stove and a single uh, tea light candle, it went for 30 minutes and only got up to 91, point, 91 degrees Fahrenheit in 30 minutes. In another one I took a tea light candle and added two more wicks along the side and that one, the three wicks, in an hour, got up to 188 degrees Fahrenheit. Then on the third one, I put four additional wicks in here. Or, yeah, four additional to give me five altogether. Five wicks gave me a boil time of 24 minutes, 47 seconds. So I guess it can be done, but we'll find out. Now, a lot of times, I've seen tea lights used in something like this. This is a butter warmer. You have a tea light candle in the bottom. You put your butter on the top. And the heat given off by the tea light will melt the butter, the butter, you know, for using with lobster and crab, stuff like that. So I've seen that. I've seen uh, devices for keeping your coffee warm. But I've never really seen anything using tea lights to boil water. Today what I'll do is I made a little pot stand out of uh, flat bar aluminum one and in, one and a half inches tall uh, eighth of an inch thick and about four inches long just cut a notch in two pieces so that they fit together to cr form a cross piece and I'll put a tea light in each one of the quadrants see what that does now this is a little bit thick but unfortunately it's all of the uh, bar stock the flat stock that I have here could probably if this works it could be made with something thinner and I guess you could drill holes in here to lighten it but what I'll do today is four candles using this pot stand the uh, Boy Scout type pot like that and we'll see if I can get water to boil and how long it takes so right now I'll get some water prepped and I'll be back to do the test okay so I've got two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees I've lit the four candles, the tea light candles, to try to let them get going. They're in the stove. So two cups of water, again at 60 degrees. For those of you that will probably ask, I weighed and measured the candles. They're about 1.47 inches or 37.5 millimeters in diameter. They're about uh, 0.53 inches tall or 13.6 millimeters tall. And they all weigh about uh, 0.4 ounces or 11 grams. So I guess from here we'll just see how long it takes to see if the four wicks will get water to a boil as compared to the five wicks I did before which was uh, 24 minutes 47 seconds. So let's see where this goes. Okay we're now 10 minutes into the test and the water temperature is up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit not exactly the fastest <laughs> water heating around okay looking underneath I don't see any soot forming yet remember this is about or not about but this is one and a half inches tall here um, that's another variable that could be played around with as far as how high do you want this up off of the flame but let's see how long it takes and if it does get to boiling point in a reasonable time. Okay, I think I'm going to call it here. 
in the last 15 minutes the temperature's only gone up three degrees and I just can't get it to go over the uh, 212 so let's say one minute 15 seconds got us up to 111 degrees Fahrenheit um, this is with four wicks I guess it's just not warm enough to kick it over the top I didn't use I didn't use a windscreen in this test because basically this is a windless area except for my talking or moving around I guess maybe putting the windscreen around this might have contained the heat somewhat but uh, in this case it seems like with four wicks just not enough heat being put out to get it up to the boil now we probably would have um, safe water to drink as far as bugs and stuff like that goes it would never do anything for chemicals but I'm getting a little bit of bubbles forming there but it's not really coming up as a rolling boil now let's see what happened as far as soot if I can pour that into the pot I think you can see at this height one and a half inch tall pot stand which the candles are about a half an inch tall so that makes about one inch between the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot and in this case it gave us no soot none whatsoever so that's pretty nice I guess if you had all the time in the world you could just put it on like this and just let it go now with the five wicks in the one tea light it was able to get it to a boil in 24 minutes 47 seconds uh, in this way it just wouldn't wouldn't take off hmm. I really thought it would at least get to boiling at some point but uh, apparently not and there we have the four tea light candles now maybe if you put an extra wick in each one of these tea lights it would probably get the water to a boil then so I hope that helps detrope EHMB on the question of do tea lights generate enough heat or how many tea lights could uh, get water to a boil hmm. anyway I thank Detrop I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.